Hello guys, it is the Elsie here and welcome to building the diamond minecarts lab. In this video series I'm going to show you how to build the diamond minecarts laboratory as well as his treasure room and the helicopter platform over there. Uh, and before we start the first episode I just quickly want to tell you that it is going to be a quite long series. It's also not the most easy uh, yeah, series you will see because it is quite a hard building. But on the other side you will also learn a lot from the series because there's quite some interesting building styles in this, uh, yeah, in this epic building made by Team Nectar. Uh, which will help yeah, very young builders uh, a lot in, yeah, in uh, progress on their building skills. So before we <coughs> start the first episode, I'm going to show you how you get uh, how you can uh, get the perfect flatland to start off the lab with, and then I will see you in the yeah in the first episode. All right. So before we start the actual building parts, you need to make sure that you're on the right ground. So for PC, what you want to do is of course give your world a name. I'm going to call it then TDM's new lab. Doesn't matter how you call it. This isn't important at all. Then make sure you're on creative mode, of course, unless you want to build your whole lab in survival, which is quite hard. Now the important part comes. What you want to do is go to more gold options. Generate structures needs to be off. World type flatland or super flat. Then you want to go to customize. Presets. And then you want to click overworld. And now you need to do the exact same thing as I do over here. As you can see you have this huge bar. You want to go to the end and then get rid of uh, the word dungeon you also need to get rid of lava lake and lake as well as mineshaft stronghold and decoration so you need to make sure that these this whole text ends with biome uh, low stripe m1 then you want to go to the little one over here which is behind the word grass and in front of the word biome or village biome i'm sorry village uh, and you want to uh, place a 2 in front of that one. So as you can see it now says 21. And what that basically does is it changes your biome from a normal uh, color to a jungle biome color. Because as you might know, uh, then to the M's lab is built in a jungle. So that's of course why we want to have a jungle biome. Also as you can see it's not a normal flatland because this one is way deeper. For, for the treasure room of course because we also need to do underground. So if it's right it will now work. Let me just quickly check it. Then to the M's new lab creative. Okay. Create new world. And if it's right we should now have a jungle flatlands. There we go. As you can see by the color and also by the maps that will spawn in a second, the ocelots, it is now a jungle biome. Let me just quickly set my first block so that I know where I started. I always used limestone clay. And then I will also show you that this jungle is way deeper. Uh, this flatland is way deeper than a normal flatland. As you can see a normal flatland would have ended here but this one goes way deeper. Which allows us to make the treasure room as well. So let me quickly fix this. And then once you did this you can get started with the building. So let's get right into that. Alright so now it's time to get started with the first blocks. What we're going to make today is the first dome. Uh, the floor mainly as well as the... Uh, the little administration desk. So let's get right into that. The first blocks that we'll be needing are some red stained clay, some stone slabs, some iron blocks, as well as some glowstone, cobblestone walls, light blue stained glass, and that's it for now, I think. Yeah, and also one little block you need is cyan stained clay. Okay, so let me get into my first person. There we go. Look at all these awesome bits. So the first thing we're going to do, seeing as this is the place I officially spawn, this means that this is going to be the outside. So I'm going to move a bit from the spawn, just so that we have, uh, yeah, got like a better position to build. <coughs> okay, then the first thing we do is we place uh, an iron block. Oh no, uh, wait, we actually need to build in the ground. So we place an iron block over there. Uh, then we go one, two, to the front. Then we skip a layer and we do the exact same thing again, like that. Then we get ourselves some red stained clay. And we place it on the left of this iron block. Then the next layer is three red stained clay blocks. Like that. The next layer also three, but you want to uh, skip one grass block. So there's three over here. Then the next one is going to be... Um, let me check. Two over here. And then the last one is to like that. 
Let me just quickly check if that's right. Yeah, there we go. This is the shape that you want to get. Now we do the exact same thing on the other side. So we start off with one block on the right, then two on the second layer, then, uh, oh, it's actually three, I'm sorry. Then three, but we skip one grass block, like this, then two over here, and then two over there. So there we go. As you can see, this all looks symmetrical, which is nice. Now we can get rid of the grass in between these iron blocks for now. We'll uh, come to that later. And also, you quickly want to place some block of irons over here, like that. Okay, now what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to place, uh, yeah, next to these two red stained clay blocks, you want to place two iron blocks. You also want to have over there and over there. Then you want to go one to the right and another one to the right. And three to the top with iron blocks. There we go. Over here you want to place two pieces of red stained clay. And you want to extend the top one to the right two times. One, two. Then you skip a grass block and you do another three. One, two, three. Boom. Then two. And then another two. Then skip the block. Alright. So the next thing we do is we also once again get rid of these three grass blocks. As you can see we're now kind of making a circle shape. We go to this part over here and we do the exact same thing, uh, thing we did over there. So that means two iron blocks oh, uh, next, yeah, on the right of the red stained clay. One to the bottom, one to the top. Um, yeah, Then extend it two times to the right, three times to the top. In the middle you want to place some red stained clay, like this. Then the top the red stained clay uh, needs to go to the right two times. One, two. Then another layer of three. Skip one grass block as you can see. Then two. And then another two. There we go. This is how it looks so far. Of course, get rid of these blocks again. There we go. <coughs> Alright. Uh, then we place, um, yeah, on the insides over here, you want to place some iron again. Also, three. Uh, over here as well as one up there and one up there and of course get rid of this again there we go okay and uh, yeah there we go that's the middle looks quite epic except for the ocelot which is uh, annoying but yeah what we're now going to do is we're going to get ourselves some uh, blue stained glass as well as glowstone and cobblestone walls and what you want to do you have like these gaps over here which we made you want to make them go one layer deeper so just Get rid of these blocks like that. There we go. We do, uh, yeah, for everything uh, we do the same, so that's quite easy. What you want to do first, uh, you've got like uh, this layer over here, you want to place block of iron. Block of iron, block of iron, block of iron. Then what we do is we replace the ground with some glowstone. Like that. We replace this dirt for iron as well. Okay, then what we do is on top of the glowstone we place cobblestone walls. There we go. And on top of the cobblestone walls you want to place some light blue stained glass. So there we go, those are as you can see the lamps, the ground lamps which look quite epic. There we go. <coughs> okay, then it's time to get yourselves some stone slabs. The first thing we want to do is we want to surround all of this, uh, yeah, we made over here with stone slabs. So that means, uh, yeah, like this, just surround it. There's a lot of ocelots, by the way, now that I'm noticing. <laughs> nah, I hope they're not going to interrupt me while I'm doing my thing. Okay, there we go. This is how it looks from the top so far. Quite epic, as you can see. Uh, now you can choose, um, it doesn't really matter since this is a circle, uh, which one you pick, but pick one of the um, yeah, areas over here. <coughs> and what you want to do is th uh, this three block long th uh, yeah, line, you want to extend it to the outside. 
so it becomes five blocks long. And you want to do another layer of that. So as you can see, it is now two layers of five. Let's also do it for the other sides. Extend them once and also make another five layer <coughs> beneath it. Here as well, extend them and place five blocks in front of them. Extend them, five blocks in front of them. There we go. Then what we do, uh, let me quickly check it out. Uh, we place um, over here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, right, I already see what I'm doing, I think. Yeah. Okay, you also want to place slabs over there, like that, on top of the iron blocks, like that, and like that. Okay. Then we need to get rid of uh, this layer. I'm sorry, <laughs> we wasn't uh, supposed to do that. So let's quickly get rid of the most outer layer. There we go. Okay, then, uh, as you can see, we've now got this like this 2 by 5 um, platform over here. And next to there, there are uh, two blocks. What you want to do is you want to extend them. As well as this one. This one. This one. This one. Yeah, just all of those. Oh, whoops. Like that. And then what you want to do <coughs> is you want to make this shape. Like that. So uh, yeah, all I need to do is just to have place two blocks over there. Also in this corner. And in this corner. And in the last corner. There we go. Uh, yeah, now we've got another nice circle shape and we want to surround it with block of irons. So just go all the way around it with a block of irons and then you're done. It's really simple as you can see. Oh, oops. Oh, oops. <laughs> it is supposed to be simple, but if you keep breaking everything, then it's going to be hard. So there we go. Alright, so this is how it looks so far. Now it's time to get ourselves some cyan stained clay. Uh, once again, pick one of the sides. Uh, yeah, I'm going to for, uh, yeah to do this one. And what you want to do, as you can see, there's a line of five blocks. Let me quickly uh, set my time back to day. There we go. At the uh, first and the fifth block, what you want to do is place two pieces of cyan stained clay in front of it. So let's also do it on the other sides. As well as on these other sides. And the last one. There we go. Okay, then go back to the first one. Uh, then you also want to make <coughs> two over here. So let's go ahead and do that again. All right. Then uh, what you need to do uh, this is quite simple. What you need to do is you need to go kind of like around this uh, iron. But then you want to surround it. So you want to go like this. And in the end you will get that shape. And uh, yeah, let me just quickly do it for every side. Like that. So you need to make sure that you don't place this. Because as you can see this is too thin. Um, let me quickly go back. You want to make sure that they are connected to each other. So that they are just a little bit bigger to see uh, to look at. Or just copy exactly what you see me doing over here. <laughs> that's also, of course, an option. Alright, and that's it for the science stained clay. Now it's time to get ourselves some block of irons. And we want to go... Um, I'm not going to push you off if you're just going to stand over there. And we're going to extend the sides five times. So, one, two, three, four, five. 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 All right, and there we go. And then, um, what is smart to do? Uh, Counts. Okay, now now is going to be uh, an important step, I believe. Yeah. Okay. What you first want to do is you want to Connect these uh, like that with the iron block. But now we are also going to get rid of the um, of the circle shape because one of these four, you have like one, two, three, four uh, hallways. 
One of them is going to be a bit longer than the other one, so you can quickly decide for you uh, which uh, this one is. I'm going to pick that one as the front. And the one you pick as the front needs to be extended three times. And then get rid of that. And just um, to make it a bit easier for yourself to check where the front is, what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to build a little ugly looking dirt tower. So let me put it there. Uh, just just uh, yeah, quite far away from it. Over here, yeah, it looks ugly, but now I know which one is the front. As you can see, that one is the front, and those are the yeah, sideways. So, um, we're going to start with the front. Because what we need to do for that... Um, yeah, five. Okay, first of all, get rid of the dirt two times. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's two rows of uh, dirt. Also, in the other ones, which are a bit smaller. As you can see, they're now two layers deep. First row is second row. Alright, and we're basically going to do the exact same thing as we did over here. Which means we're going to fill this up with some glowstone. Then once you did that, <coughs> it's once again replacing the iron, uh, I mean the dirt, for iron. Placing cobblestone walls on top of the glowstone. And light blue stained glass on top of the cobblestone. So there we go, that's uh, the first one. Now the front one, exact same story. Replace the dirt with iron. Uh, which all we do is just get rid of the dirt first and then place the iron. Like that. Then place cobblestone walls on top of the glowstone. Light blue stained glass on top of the cobblestone. Let's do it again. Replace the dirt for the block of irons. Like that. Cobblestone wall on top of the glowstone. And light blue stained glass on top of the cobblestone. Uh, there's one more to go. I hope he's not going to fall in because it will be very sad of course. So let's replace the dirt with the block of irons. There we go. Cobblestone walls on the glowstone. And a light blue stained glass over there. Alright, so this is what we have so far. Looks quite fancy already. But now what we're going to do... Uh, just quickly check what is smart. Yeah. Okay, first get yourself some more science stained clay. And build around these... Uh, yeah, around this block of iron. Like that. So many ocelots, look at this. I need to I need to uh, find out how I can stop them spawning. Now it's not a too big problem as soon as we are like inside of the lab, but now there is nothing to uh, yeah there are no walls that can uh, prevent them from coming in. Okay so there we go. <coughs> then the next thing we do is we're going to get ourselves some uh, yeah let's choose dirt, really cheap block because we're not going to see it in the end anymore. Uh, you can also do something uh, like a bright color for example green wool. But I'd like to, uh, to choose for cheaper blocks. And what we're going to do uh, is we go and uh, yeah, let's let's start with the front, which is over here for me, and then at the right part of the front. What we want to do uh, is I'm going to cut in layers, like that's a layer, that's a layer, that's a layer, that's a layer, and like that. And then I'm co uh, going to show you how many blocks you need to go away from that layer. Uh, for here is four, one, two, three, four. Then here four as well, one, three, four. Uh, then it's five. One, two, three, four, five. Then two. Then another two. Uh, check another two. Then three. One, two, three. Then four. Then another four. Then th uh, th four. Yeah, another four and another four and another four. There we go, that's how it looks so far. And once you did that, you want to place stone slabs on top of it. So ju yeah, just fill everything up with some stone slabs. Oh, if you can get out of the way quickly, there we go. Thank you. Alright, so this is how it looks for this one. Now we're going to that part over there. 
uh, just so you know the front is over there so that means it's at the right side and then in the back over there okay um, I need to quickly check how that goes no actually what I first want to do is go to the other side of the front which is the left part because it's a bit easier for me to uh, to do okay so we're going to do the exact same thing again if you can get out of the way thanks there we go first there is four blocks one two three four is that four yeah four another four four five two 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 three and then four 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 <coughs> all right let's quickly check if i did it right yes it looks yeah it's right okay so then once again place stone slabs on top of the dirt And there we go, looks quite fancy already from the front. Okay, then it's time uh, for yeah for these two parts. And I quickly need to check out um, the different screenshots. Okay, there we go, oh that's nice. Okay, so the front is over there, okay. So, if we go this way, quickly need to check where this starts. Um, yeah, like that, okay. So what we're first going to do is we're going to get rid of this block over here as well as those three and those three so we get that shape. We do the exact same thing on the other side. Get rid of the first layer and three blocks from the second layer. Alright, then we go to this side again which is uh, from the front it is at the left so it's over there. <coughs> okay and then uh, we're going to go to this part and then we're once again going to show you how many blocks you need to do each layer. So the first one is four. One, two, three, four. Then another four. Four. Um, then another four. You can go out of the way, please. I might need to get myself a diamond sword to get him out of the way. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so this one is five. One, two, three, four. No, I'm uh, four. Okay, sorry. The first one is four. Second one is four. And the third one is four. The fourth one is five, so one, two, three, four, five. Then it's two, 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 three, four, uh, yeah, four, four, three, no, another four, I'm sorry, uh, four and four. Okay, so that's, I believe, exactly, uh, exactly the same like I did over there. So let's quickly do that. <coughs> Place the stone slabs on top of the dirt. go also it might be a bit handy to get rid of this dirt just so that you know that you don't have to build over there anymore a little bit confusing to have this dirt over there okay now the last part over here <coughs> let's get right into that um, we're going to check it out from this part over here okay there we go the first layer is four one oh one two three four next layer also four third one as well so one two three four one two three four then it's five one, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two. Then three, one, two, three. And then the rest is four. So one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, <clears throat> and of course, place these stone slabs on top of it again. All right, and there we go. All right, so what we're now going to do is we're going to the front again, which is right over here. And then we're going to make a few changes because as you can see, the front is five blocks long. One, two, three, four, five. And the other three hallways are four long. One, two, three, four. What we actually need to do is we need to change uh, so that the front is only four and the other ones are five. So in order to do that, what you want to do is replace uh, this glass, uh, yeah just get rid of it, as well as the cobblestone and place two iron blocks over there. And then replace this iron for science stained clay. 
Uh, yeah, like that. And then get rid of these two layers. There we go. Uh, you can leave that for what it is because it is important. And then these ones, <coughs> what you want to do, get rid of the iron over here. Then replace these three for iron. Replace the inside over here for iron as well. Glowstone on the bottom, cobblestone wall, and light blue stained glass. As you can see, this one is now five, and the front one is four. Then we do these ones as well, because these also need to be five. Get rid of the two blocks of iron, <coughs> replace the ground with glowstone, a block of iron, like that. Then replace these three four blocks of iron, place a cobblestone wall, and place some light blue stained glass over there. Okay, then the last one <coughs> over here, also once again get rid of two iron stained, uh, yeah, iron blocks, and replace the dirt for iron, uh, ground for glowstone couple stone wall over there and a light blue stained glass and also of course replace these three for a block of iron okay so now we go to the front again and I quickly need to check something that's right that's right okay yeah nice yeah one little thing this is the back as you can see because if that's the front it means this is the back the back uh, needs a little addition which is that you want to get rid of those blocks so yeah, that's like that. And for this side, it's also the last layer and those three. There we go. And then also the dirt blocks, of course. All right, then that's fixed, which is nice. Now we go to the front, which is over here for me. Uh, and what we do <coughs> is we get ourselves some stone slabs. And with these stone slabs, what we do, uh, check. Yeah, first of all, we extend this, like that. One, two, three, over there as well. Then we place two in the corner. There was two in that corner. Then we go three blocks to the middle. Three blocks to the middle. So we get this. Now here you go down one little block and you make it go all the way to the other block. Like that this is what you will have so far and then <coughs> you go to you have like one two three those three blocks you want to have the middle one as well as this middle one over here one two three one of the middle one and then connect these two to each other like this and there we go this is as you can see the front which is just a bit uh, different from the other ones now we're going to get ourselves a block of iron and we will place them over there and then we extend them three times one two three oh whoops three so as you can see it's now four blocks long we also do it for the other side one two three four then we place two in a diagonal shape and then we do another five over here one two three four five all right for the other side as well two blocks diagonal one two and then five over here. One, two, three, four, five. Quickly set my time back today. Okay, there we go. Uh, then for these two parts over here, what you want to do, let me quickly check. Yep. You also want to go, um, as you can see, you have, uh, yeah, if you look at this point, you have one, two, and three, three diagonal blocks. For the middle one, what you want to do is place two over there and then five on the sides. So one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, uh, five, like that. Also for this side, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. All right, there we go. That's it for those blocks. Uh, now, what you want to do is uh, get yourself a new block, which is going to be, uh, where is it? Yeah, the stone brick stairs. We're going to start off in the back, right over here. Uh, by doing the following, which is, uh, let me check, yeah. Okay, we start off over here at this uh, this block, which is just a little bit longer than the stairs. Uh, I mean the slabs, and then we, oh, whoops, place the stairs like this. Then we go this way, and like that. Then we go this way again, and we go to the middle, and you, oh, you want to stop as soon as you're at the middle, which is over here. 
Same thing for the other side. Place the stairs, make them go around. Like that. All right, and there we go, that's it for the back. Now we do this exact same thing on the sides, which is over there and over there, but not on the front, because as you can see, the front is already uh, way different. So let's quickly do this. One, two, three. No, we don't even need to count, just following a shape. There we go, other side. Like that. Uh, now the last one is over here, on the left of the front. Uh, what is in the place? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright. So there we go, as you can now see, uh, yeah, there's quite a big difference already on the front and on the sides and the back. Uh, what is smart to do now? Let's um, let's quickly check another screenshot. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're going to the front by the looks of it. <coughs> uh, like this, yeah, okay, and then what we do is we get ourselves some, uh, where are they, stone bricks. And we place them, uh, yeah in front of all of the um, slabs over here so you want to make sure that you're on this layer and they want to place stone bricks in front of them there we go all right uh, then <coughs> you want to go to the middle and to make sure that you're in the middle you just need to follow this line of the blue glass and place three uh, or two i'm sorry two stone bricks like that uh, on the sides as well so we get that little shape, then stone brick stairs, like that, and like that. So uh, yeah, this is what you have for now. And then in front of this, you want to build a little stone brick wall. Alright, and this is for the door opening. So then you want to get yourself a block of coals, and place them next to the stairs. Like that, and uh, yeah, that's it for now, we will do the door later. Now it's time to go um, yeah shall we fill up some grass quickly for the flowers over here as you, can, as you know there are flowers in the corners so what we do for that is we go to this very block over here and then we extend it two times so one two this one as well one two this one as well one two this one is going to be extended three times one two three this one um, one two three four Five times I believe or not that's five yeah this is also five yep yeah, five and then quickly place five over here as well uh, four I'm sorry four all right so there we go uh, yeah this is uh, uh, it's a bit hard to see but this is kind of how it looks all right let's also do it for the other sides so we start off over here at uh, from the right part it's the it's the second block we want to go one two one two one two, one two three, one two three four five, one two three four. There we go. Then over here as well. Second block from the right. One two, one two, one two, one two three, one two three four five, one two three four. Last one. Second block from the right. One two, one two, one two, one two three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, and there we go, for the grass, uh, then, I think this, the ground is done right now, let me just make sure that it is right, uh, yes, looks like it, okay, now it's time to get started on this administration thing, and then uh, next episode we will start with the walls, third episode on the dome, and I think we're, uh, yeah, now ready for the first, uh, yeah, the administration room already, so for the administration center, let's call it the administration center. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you're on the front, which is, uh, yeah, for me over there. And then you want to go to this middle over here. <coughs> and you want to make sure that, uh, that it goes one block over there, one iron block. 
then also of course for the cobblestone so the front will look like that and the sides will just still look like how they are so you don't need to do anything over there then it's time for some new blocks so let me clear my inventory we will be needing uh, where are the quartz stairs iron blocks uh, stone slabs quartz slabs purple st or just magenta no I, yeah I believe it's magenta oh as well as purple so you need magenta stained glass paints and purple stained glass paints also you need some cobblestone walls and some stone brick stairs okay so the first thing we do is we go to um, yeah not to the front but to one of the other sides let's go for the back and you place a slab over there as well as over there and over there so like that then next to that you place some stone brick stairs like this there we go um, then let me just quickly check we place slabs over there as well and over there yeah, there we go ok that means there's going to be one slab over there as well and then two over here as you can see it's uh, still a uh, yes, block also two over there and two over there so this is how it looks so far make sure that this this uh, little wall is on the front because I swear if, if it's not on the front <laughs> then the whole desk is going to be on the wrong side which you of course don't want to have so then uh, once you did that it is time to get yourself some quartz stairs and you place them next to that, like that. Uh, also like this then we go to the left side what we do there uh, is we place how do we do that um, just quickly check you place one of yeah you place one block like that on the other side as well on this side as well uh, yeah and they're just on every side like that so you will currently have this then what you do is you make it go to the inside like this so one block over there and one over there and then another one over there do the, uh, yeah do, it for ev do that for every uh, stair you just made so that means over here as well over here as well uh, over here as well. oh oops you don't want to have this shape as you can see you want to make sure that this one also bounces as soon as you place the second one and in order to do that you want to make sure that you're placing it exactly over there the block and not for example over there oh that also works by the way um, but if you're like too much to this side then you will see that it uh, stops going uh, how you want it to go so there we go quickly finish this off all right so this is what we have so far it's a bit hard to see but I hope you guys can see it then over here in the middle you want to place quartz slabs like that and then get yourself some uh, block of irons oh and also by the way over here you also want to have some quartz stairs like that then get yourself a block of iron place two in the middle as well oh, I wasn't even noticing this is becoming night again there we go time set day uh, then um, also like next to the iron blocks you want to place two more like that there we go and there we go okay uh, then it's time to get ourselves some uh, glowstone there we go I replace this grass block with glowstone And on top of the glowstone you want to have some light blue stained glass. Like that. Alright. So then it's time to get yourself some magenta uh, stained glass panes. And place them on the sides of these iron blocks. Oh, oops. Alright. That's how it looks so far. Just quickly flying around like this. And this little, uh, this, this middle point, this is the exact middle point of the whole uh, building. What you want to do for that is get yourself a dispenser. Uh, replace it for the light blue glass because you don't need it anymore. And just place it over here. And as you can see it will uh, look like that. 
Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, then it's time to get yourself some quartz slabs. Uh, or is it... You know what, let's just quickly make this little painting of the fish first. Because, uh, yeah, most of you guys will probably recognize that. Get yourself item frame and place it over there. And uh, just so you know, this is the front, as you can see. And inside of that iron frame, you want to have a fish. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a temporary thing or it's just for a few episodes. But I believe uh, this fish is uh, yeah, there for quite a long time already. So I'm just going to do it in my tutorial as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. <coughs> I will also, as you might know, there are two computer screens over here. I will later show you how to make these. Uh, but that's not for now. Then the quartz slabs, let's uh, continue, are going to be placed on the glass panes. Like that. Quite hard to build, but as soon as you're right, there we go. Okay. Uh, then, a block of irons <coughs> in the middle of those uh, yeah, two blocks. And on top of the block of iron, you want to have some cobblestone walls. There we go, this is how it looks. Okay, and then on top of the couple stone walls, you want to have stone slabs. Like that. <coughs> Alright. Then next to the stone slabs, you want to have some block of irons. And also beneath these block of irons, you want to have some quartz slabs. Like this. Okay, <coughs> so now that we've done this, it is time to get ourselves some stairs. And you want to place them upside down between the uh, block of irons. Blocks of iron, actually. <coughs> Here we go. Also, place the stairs like this. So that they're facing on the outside. So it looks it's quite epic, by the way, like this. <coughs> but it's not what we want, because what we also want to do is get ourselves some more magenta stained clay. Uh, clay, I'm sorry, uh, uh, glass paints. And we play... Oh, before we do that, actually, we place quartz slabs in front of the uh, iron blocks. And then what we do is we get ourselves the magenta uh, stained glass paint. And we make this shape. So as you can see, it looks like a little T. go all right <coughs> then over here at the, the bottom of the T which is this block you want to place some stairs again like this all right then what we do is we get ourselves some block of iron I quickly need to find another screenshot which shows me where to place okay and we place them over there, 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 and there. And then we fill, um, yeah, let me just go for the top. We fill them up with some upside down uh, quartz slabs. Like this. Alright, so there we go. This is how it looks from the, yeah, from the bottom. Then we go back to the top. Oh, and actually before we do that, I think it's a nice idea to get ourselves some purple stained glass panes. We need to place these on the insides over here. Uh, where can I move? Oh, there we go. Alright. Looking quite fancy already. A little dome. Where's the front? Oh, the front is over there. Alright. So, uh, after we did that, let me just quickly check what we need to do. Get my better screenshot. Okay. This is a good one. What we do is we place some slabs in front of the stairs. Uh, yeah, there as well, no, there as well. Then we get ourselves some magenta stained clay uh, glass. Uh, yeah, magenta stained glass, I'm sorry. I'm used to saying clay uh, because of all these other tutorials. And then we place them over there, and over there, and over there, and over there. Then get yourself a block of iron and place them over there, like that. With a little torch over here. Okay, so that's it for this little uh, thing over here, this, uh, this administration. I'm just quickly going to show you how to make this uh, this, this power uh, core thing on top of it as well. Uh, the, the particles will come later, like you have these uh, floating glass panes, I will do them later, not now. Uh, but what you want to do is place uh, the first block on top of the torch, like that. Then another one, and another one, and another one. So four in total. Then you want to get rid of the first three, so one, two, three. 
like that. Then you want to surround this block. Um, so it's look, yeah, this is in the middle as you can see. You want to tur turn it into a three by three platform, which is right above, uh, yeah, above the, the administration. Uh, so yeah, now it's three by three, and you want to make it three by three by three, which means we also need to make it go up like this. And now as you can see, you've got a three by three by three square. Now what we do is we extend this square on each side, so that means we extend it on the uh, bottom with a 3x3 platform, we extend it on the sides, extend it on this side as well. And as you can see I'm only extending with the 3x3 uh, platform because that turns it into some kind of ball, and also on the top. <coughs> oh, oops. Okay, and there we go. That's it for the uh, yeah for the ball, and that's also the end of this episode. I think yeah, there's nothing else uh, we need to do this episode. Next episode, what we're going to make uh, do is we're going to make the walls, which is going to take a bit more uh, work. This was still a quite easy uh, tutorial. Uh, but the next one is going to be a bit harder, and after that we're going to get started on the dome, which is also quite a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah. If you did like this episode, make sure to give it a like, of course, in the comments down, I mean, um, not in the comments down below, in the description below this video, you will see the, the, the link to the next episode, which will come soon, and I will see you guys in the next episode, later.